Tell me you've been single a long time without telling me you've been single a long time. <laughs> out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you get? So, um, I'm supposed to get my kids tomorrow night. Or do more a day. And their father just called me and asked if um, they could go to the beach because they were supposed to go when he picked them up. Whatever, long story. You know, of course, the demon evil part of me wants to be like, no, they're my kids. It's my time. But the good side of me has to do what's in the best interest of the kids and they really want to go to the beach and I got to let go. And I did and it just hurt so bad because, you know, as much as I'm strong and I have fun on lives and TikTok, I just, I look forward to those little boogers. This video isn't going to have a punchline. Tell you that right off the bat. Um, because I am basically just making it to stop crying um because usually when i start trying to make a video i stop crying and um i've been crying all day because i got sat on a plane next to a couple and the whole time the guy had his hand on like his girlfriend's leg you know and it was just kind of like that the whole time and um i just I can't, like i've been single my whole life, I'm 25, and I've never gotten to experience that. I've never gotten like close to that. And it's just too much. Like it's too much. I can't do it anymore. There are some people out there who they don't, they're not interested in a relationship and they want to be by themselves. But like, that's not me. And that's never been me. I have always wanted to be in a relationship, even though I've never been in one. Um, and even though I'm like, I'm comfortable by myself and I can do things alone, but like at a certain point, it gets like really sad doing things alone. Like I've traveled alone to so many places because like, if I don't go by myself, I'm not going to go. If I don't do things by myself, it's not going to happen. But at the same time, like it's so much fun to be able to like share that with someone else. And like everyone I know is in a relationship right now and like, the majority of them have been in relationships for like a long time. Like this is established. And I just like, I feel like I've always been alone and I don't want to be, and I don't understand why this is happening to me. If she's really 45 years old, she must have been a smoke show in her prime because she looks better than most 35 year olds. And she just told on herself, she never experienced a real relationship before, especially after 27 years of being an adult. That means she slept around instead of locking down a man of value. And I bet there were plenty of men in her 20s who offered a commitment. Great men that she'd be more than happy to be with. But because she had endless options and got addicted to the new dick, she didn't want to stop having fun. Get it laid is like crack to women. Crackheads will do drugs until it's too late. Until they're homeless looking like a zombie. Same goes to modern women. They'll be a baddie until they age out become a single mom or hit the wall, until they can't get relationship benefits for free until the top tier men aren't sleeping with them anymore. LOL, am I the only one who finds great joy watching this? When it comes to modern women, this is what a lot of men live for, because as I've said many times, for every time a female has been wronged by a man, she's done the same thing to at least 10 other men. As in, these bed wenches will cheat on their man just for the chance to be played by Chad and Tyrone. Several guys all pointed out the hypocrisy of modern women. You are a strong, independent woman. You don't need a man. These are strong and independent women. They got this. Strong, independent women. LMAO, oh well. Exactly. They're strong and independent until they hit the wall. Then the free trial on easy mode expires. Women have privilege when it comes to finding a member of the opposite sex interested in them. For them to be in this situation means it's their own doing. With the internet like social media, some of these females have access to billionaires. So them being single is just like when most lotto winners go broke after three years. Oh, look, she put her kid's initials in her bio, even though she doesn't have custody. Girls night out. Mama needs a break. A break from what? She posted a selfie. 
Hashtag mom life. Bitch weird. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, she actually took a picture with her kid. Must be at grandma's house. In a new relationship. Third one this month. Shocker. Now, I mean, hey, at least you don't got to worry about men being in and out the kid's life. Because, you know, she ain't even in the kid's life. So here come the quotes. Why is it always Harley Quinn and Joker quotes? Real love is when you see the dark parts of someone and choose to still love them. Girl, go love your kid. Went to the store and saw this tiny baby onesie. OMG, baby fever. Yeah, because that's what we need. Another kid for your mama to raise. Oh, they broke up. Forever alone. Well, you know, you wouldn't be alone if you went and got your kid. So. Why doesn't anyone love me? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you love your kid? <laughs> A lot of these 304s only do something for their kid or kids if they're recording videos or taking photos for IG or Facebook. Otherwise, they couldn't give a rat's ass. After all, they only had the kids for the child support checks. That's their career. Not to produce anything of value in the world, but to baby trap a man and have the gynocentric doctorship collect the child support. And I hate to spoil the fun about deadbeat Facebook moms, but all single moms are deadbeats whether they're on or off Facebook. A commenter points out, I know several moms like this and it's on point. Sadly, this is more common than the stay-at-home mom. Until we stop rewarding bad decisions with welfare, nothing is going to change. Our society is doomed. Another comment. No, because why are there people heart reacting their posts saying, OMG, you're such a good mama. Where? Yeah, the other deadbeat single moms will cheer each other on with these types of comments. It's one big thought circle jerk. Oh god, the Harley Quinn and deadbeat mom correlation. I never linked, but so true. If she likes Harley Quinn, that's a red flag. That's the crazy 304 anthem. Our society is so screwed that there are real-life Joker gangs called Antifa. They color their hair, have serious mental problems, many of them are crazy, and they're the villains in real life. They create anarchy, and most importantly, they're the spawn of feminists and single moms. If I told you that in the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, there is not a single scene where two woman characters speak to one another, would you believe me? What if I told you that Princess Leia is the only woman character with a name in the fifth episode of Star Wars? What if I told you that even Finding Nemo only has two lines of dialogue between two characters that are girls for the entire film? It is well known that women are underrepresented in the film industry, but sometimes it goes over our heads just how underrepresented we are. This brings me to the Bechdel test. The Bechdel test is an extremely basic feminist test for movies in order for a movie to pass it must have two women with a name in it those women must talk to each other and their discussion must be about literally anything other than a man i'm willing to bet you'd be shell-shocked at some of the movies that fail this extremely simple test for example of all three of the toy stories only one of them actually passes if you want to find out which toy story passes and why some people argue that mulan doesn't even pass this feminist test click the link in my bio and check out my most recent youtube video on the bechdel test i would never go hunting but I absolutely will terrorize men for sport. This feminism movement is really designed for the breakdown of families. And what does that mean for a female? It means that you end up being single, mm. that you know the system then will support you to a certain extent, but now you have to work. You're having to pay the bills, you're single, you're stressed out. Mm. A man is needed in the family setup. The system is not a man. It's not a replacement for a man, ultimately, you're going to be left in a bigger situation where you're by yourself, raising your kids, struggling to live, struggling to work. For a Muslim woman, our disposition, you know, our fitra is that we need to be looked after. We need to be nurtured. We need to be <clears throat> provided for, you know, mm. the Quran, the men are the protectors and the, the maintainers of, of the women. And we're the bent rib. So we can only manage and handle so much as women. It really long term, is going to do more harm than good and it is damaging for you. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had? Was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And obviously, as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conform to the traditional female, homemaker, childbearing role. 
And most of the men that I've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. So I don't really know what to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. But am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? She means she doesn't like manginas who wear dresses and paint their nails and crosses their legs because their balls are non-existent. Almost like when modern women try to be like men. They're loud, they swear, don't shave, they look like an 80s hacker. Now she knows how we feel. These feminists always talk about how they want men to be vulnerable, but that only works in the movies. It's Hollywood feminist fantasy. So once the man does it, she'll lose attraction for him and start looking for a new man. Then find that new man, convince him to become a tampon for her tears, and then moves on after the emotional moments they have that finally turn her off. Rinse and repeat. And back to the theme of the video, this is what most modern women want. They want the benefits of traditionalism without the standards. Also, she's not special and this isn't a new revelation. This is what 99% of modern women want. They want a man to pretend they're quality women and not 304s and treat them like they're high quality women. And I've got bad news for her and every other delusional feminist thought. That traditional man they're hoping to find is going to be with a traditional woman. He's not going to waste his time on a feminist like her. She's used up and she has mental problems. What she qualifies for is a one night stand, if that. But she needs a current STD test, mental health screening, credit report, a debt to income statement, reviews from her last three boyfriends, and a list of prescriptions she's on. Top comment says, easy fix, lower your standards. She's acting like she has the same value to a beautiful 18-year-old virgin bride. I'm sure she'd laugh at the fat loser who lives with his mom and wants to only date supermodels. A simp comments, people in the comments being obtuse. It ain't hard for a man to respect women and their independence while still being a gentleman. And she responds, that's all I'm asking for. You literally just hit the nail on the head, lol. And someone responds, I mean, you're right, it's very easy for us to be both. The question is, does such a man want you? Exactly. There's a reason why she's single and making this SOS video on TikTok. If she qualified for such a man, she'd have him by now. Another great comment. I want a traditional man without being a traditional woman. LOL. Hit the nail on the head. A traditional man is going to be grossed out by her tats and piercings and masculine attitude. A trad man also works a hard job so he can have a stay-at-home trad wife. More great comments. All of the benefits, none of the responsibilities. Summary, I want everything, but I don't want to give anything. This is modern women for you. They're spoiled and entitled. You heard it from her. She's dated these types of men in the past before. It's not like she's never had this opportunity. She's had it multiple times, and I'm pretty sure she ruined all of her chances. Most men will never have a chance with a quality woman in America. Yep, these 304s have all the chances in the world. That's why you should never feel sorry for a single modern woman feeling lonely. Because she's wasted a lot of men to get to the point where all her bridges are burned. And her feeling lonely or sadness is that realization that she fucked up. And then lastly, the comment that sums up feminism perfectly. Is it not a red flag to you that men that share your ideologies and values don't seem to be providers or protectors? That should tell her. Feminism is all BS because her body responds to masculine traits. It knows what she needs for a great relationship. It's just that it's her feminist programming from the indoctrination that's keeping her single and toxic. Sorry, it's too late. Cats need adopting at the animal shelter. And pick up a couple cases of wine on the way home. I have a I'm lovely not, No, no, no. Who in this fucking you. table is a single mom? Me. You? And I said I would And be this a is the only girl. This is no. the only girl that, that, that chooses because she fucking knows what it is to be a fucking single mom. All right, so. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Chris. I ain't Please gonna lie. Um, here, it, here, here's the thing. No, no, no one's saying that no one's gonna want you. We're just saying. I'm not gonna even lie. It's unlikely. Unlikely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna even lie. It's unlikely. Yeah. Plenty of people will want you. It's wild. I was just looking at that page that's like, are we dating the same guy? And first of all, it's fascinating and it's a crazy resource. But also like 90% of the dudes that get posted in there, I'm just like, this is it? Like some girl will just post like the most foul looking man, the most mid mediocre dude to ever grace this earth. And they're like, ladies, this one is a walking red flag. 
And then all the comments will be like, oh yeah, he did me dirty too. And I'm like, that guy? That fucking guy? We're in the freaking trenches down here. Like scraping the bottom of the barrel, just... And these women that post these men's, I'll go and look at their profiles if they're not anonymous. Just the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I just, I... You've dropped your crown, kings. See, women play games with men all the time. And for these chicks who created the group and act like they're these dutiful girlfriends who's faithful to the man and cooks apple pie every Sunday is a massive cap. They're just mad that someone played the game better than they did. So much so that they never thought they were even getting played. And it never crossed their mind until it was too late. So, the reason why there's a group of females putting these so-called mid-tier men on blast is because they're mad they got played by them. Their ego is so big, they can't believe they've been had by a man they would usually ignore. These men who aren't good looking but can play women are the ones who have true game. These are the men you need to learn from. It just goes to show, looks are not everything. Even with these thoughts and 304s. The chick in the video comments, I would just like to clarify, I'm commenting on toxic men from the page who are mid, never a nice guy. And someone responded, they probably thought he was a nice guy until they found out. That's brilliant. Use nice guy game to trick these thoughts. Maybe get them on a rebound, and they think they're using you to build themselves back up. But before they can find a better man, you move on and leave them in the dust again. I'm just guessing how this would work. Hey, if you were given lemons and not the best looking guy, might as well make lemonade. Another female commented, that's exactly why I left that group. There's not one man posted that I would even consider going on a date with. I'm like, I think I'm good. And the woman in the video responded, truly, I was scrolling for so long trying to find a dude that I'd be like, ah, yeah, I get it. And this goes to show that despite women getting played by Chad or Tyrone or any of the top three percentile men, they'll still go to bat for them and keep it under wraps. The reason why these thoughts aren't sharing those men is because that would be free advertisement for the men. Other chicks would then see if they can't get played, wink wink. These thoughts want to keep these top men a secret to themselves so they can try to tame these men. That's why they put up with being treated like trash because they think they'll be the lucky lotto winner and get a top tier man to settle down with them. Again, it's okay if Chad and Tyrone does it because they're top dogs. Proving another red pill tenant. Women make rules for betas, but break rules for alphas. Another chick comments, Every time. I saw an old guy who was straight up tails from the crypt, and I just couldn't believe the women he was pulling. Older men have been around the block, and unlike women, age as in a seasoned man is more attractive than a post-wall woman, because he's perceived more masculine and more competent. He's like the old lion with scars and wounds, who's been battle-tested and somehow came out on top. These older men probably sucker these chicks with a great lifestyle and know not to simp no matter what. And the women in the video respond to the comment, pulling them and also being a bad person. Playing is being bad? No. That's good. That's hilarious. That's God telling these bed wenches they're human like everyone else. So my boyfriend and I are in a fully committed, one-sided, open relationship. One-sided? So like, are you open or is he open? I'm not allowed to get with other people, but he's allowed to, you know, get with whoever he wants, yeah. Who initiated that? We both agreed to it. Was it monogamous at one point, then you opened it up strictly for him? Or just from the get-go, it was like, you don't see other guys, I'm gonna see other chicks. On our second date, he flew me and this other influencer out to an island. He was like talking to her previously. What? An island? Yeah, to an island. Then he decided he wanted to like talk to me, so I guess from the get-go, I just kind of expected that that's how it was going to be. I'm okay with it. I guess that's the cheat code for modern women today. Just have enough money to buy a private island and a private jet. Wow, if only I realized that before I dealt with these thoughts. I guess they'll allow me to cheat if I used a thousand dollars to wipe my ass. Who would have thunk it? As soon as I heard, flew me out to an island, it all made much more sense. Exactly. Suddenly, this feminist boss lady was okay to be cheated on and take directions. Money does make everything better. A thought comments, so it isn't her boyfriend, it's her employer. And that's why these feminists are single. They think any relationship with a man has the advantage and makes the rules is not a relationship. 
The man is supposed to lead, and the biggest indictment on modern women is that they're women in much more poorer countries living in dirt huts that follow their men's lead and cook and clean for them. Dude comments, pretty much. He spoils her, gets laid every now and then with her, she has a luxurious life, and everyone's happy, I guess. That's what a relationship is, dummy. Both people get something out of it, and they're both happy. Someone bitter comments, that's her boss, not her boyfriend. He who has the gold makes the rules. The top tier men are sought after, and for every one of them, there are 10,000 304s. Someone's going to want that vacation lifestyle badly enough, and it's whoever says yes to everything gets it. You know what? Um this makes me so sad and so angry at OnlyFans. OnlyFans is so gross because it literally weaseled its way into these feminist spaces and convinced women that it is somehow empowering for them to sell their body online with false promises they're gonna, they're, they're gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's not the reality of it. It's basically a sex work pyramid scheme. In what other business when the market is so flooded would you continue to try to recruit young women? And don't get me wrong, I have no problem with sex work, but it is not supposed to be this common, especially not amongst young women. And I hate to say this, but this is the opposite of feminism. This is quite literally the objectification of women. You can have us at a price. What? And I don't know why I feel like I'm so early on this train, but I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Which is again why I'm so proud of this girl for posting about it. Is this feminist serious? I swear accountability is the modern woman's kryptonite. She's blaming a company for what thoughts decided to do, which is sell their own body. The subscription website was for artists and entertainers originally, but these females realize that they can be X-rated performers and get more money by just taking off their clothes. No need to knit something or write a song or show off cooking skills. A lot of comments say the same thing. Only Simps did not force any women or even market that it was this type of website. It was actually other women on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok because of their profit. OF was supposed to be like Patreon. Nobody is forcing this woman to do OnlyFans. It's their own decision because they think it's easy money. That's it. That's right. When OnlyFans realized that it made the most money from Simps because 304s decided to be digital strippers, they fully leaned in it. OnlyFans was going to stop allowing adult content until the company realized that most of its profits came from simps. It made a billion dollars off of simps in one year, while a majority of companies and businesses will never make that in a lifetime. Feminism has also supercharged OnlyFans. It brainwashed women to become career women or wannabe CEOs, and so when reality hit a lot of them, they chose the easiest path to make money, which was take off their clothes on camera. And a lot of the East strippers were raised by deadbeat single moms. So they don't have a family to disown them to begin with. It's only when the men of their dreams reject them that they regret doing it. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much money a woman makes, and some of these OF performers are making six figures per month, if a man they respect doesn't commit to them, thus validate them, they'll never be happy. It's hardwired into them. They out here screaming my body, my choice, but can't take the responsibility that comes with making that choice. A perfect comment that summarizes modern women. They'll cry about men wanting younger women and call those men predators because they want 18-year-olds, yet cheer those same 18-year-old thoughts for starting an OnlyFans. It's gotten so bad that high school counselors have reported that most attractive high school girls' career choice is to be on OnlyFans once they turn 18. Great job, feminism. Way to break the glass ceiling there. Way to fight for more women to be streetwalkers instead of engineers. We signed our final divorce papers last week. And I just got notified today that the lawyer sent the papers to the court today to be signed by the judge. Everybody keeps thinking that I'm handling this divorce so well and I'm not. I'm not okay. <sighs> Next week would have been our nine year anniversary. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. <sighs> I didn't want this. 
I never wanted this. And it hurts and it sucks and I... I okay. I know that I'm gonna be okay. But right now it really sucks. And I feel like I can't breathe. So, for those of you who are going through the same thing and have been watching me and telling me that you wish that you had my strength because you're not handling your divorce or your breakup well, just know I'm right there with you. I'm not okay either. But I promise you... Someday, someday, we're gonna be okay. Just not today. She's not young and hot anymore, and apparently her ex is and will be the highest value man who will ever commit to her in her entire life. She knows that. That's why she's crying. If she could do better, she'd already be with the next man. And I'm willing to bet her ex is already with someone hotter than she is which makes it more painful that he doesn't need her as much as she needs him. To be honest, she can't be too sad because it looks like she has gained some weight. I don't think she was trying her hardest to keep this man, otherwise she'd be in better shape. These modern women, once they get married, they think they can coast through the marriage and the man will love them just as much. And that's not true. The older these women get, the more value outside of the bedroom they have to provide to keep a man committed to them. And if he's high value enough, they will have to look the other way if they think he's cheating. They will have to realize as long as he doesn't bring over anyone else into their bed, it's kosher. If no questions are asked, everything is just fine. Top comment says, Let him go, sweetie. We miss what we thought they were, not who they really are. Wow. These females are sure telling on themselves. They'd rather be fed lies from Chad and Tyrone than find out they're getting played. You can't make this shit up. And this is human nature. It's harder to convince a person they've been fooled than fool them. They'd rather live that fantasy of the chance of having the dream than live in reality. They'd rather think the alpha only has eyes for them even though they swear they see female names whenever he gets texts. I don't know you, but I come across your page. I am going through the same thing. I feel your pain. I don't want the divorce either. It's like someone died. It's not easy. See, these women will miss the man who played them, more than the man who treated them right. And that's why I say with modern women, you have to cheat on them to get their loyalty and respect. Your last video, you complained about men still in love with their ex, and now you're crying over yours. Make up your mind. And the divorcee in the video responded, No. I said I didn't care if someone was still in love with their ex while dating. You can be in love with your ex and still go out and do fun things. Point taken. There you go, men. The worse you play modern women, the more they'll miss you and quote-unquote love you. Otherwise, MGTOW or get your passports. Now somebody gotta say this shit, and I'll be the bitch to say it. I don't know who booty head ass bitches, one of y'all didn't say y'all need no me, but bitch, look at this. I'm pulling a motherfucking trash can. Bitch, you don't want to pull no motherfucking trash can. I know how to pull the trash can, bitch. I know how to sit in here properly for the trash can to pick the fuck up, bitch. But do I want to do it? No, bitch. And guess what? It's more than one, bitch. I gotta even pull the recycle bin by myself, bitch. I'm madder than a motherfucker. Gotta walk all the way on the side of this motherfucker. Look, bitch. This is not for me. This is it. What the, what the, look at this. This is, I need a motherfucking man, bitch. Bitch, do I look like I want to put trash cans for a living? Bitch, I'm too motherfucking just cute for this. Bitch, look at this. Look. So whoever motherfucking booty head ass, bitch ass daughter, set there and made me motherfucking like this shit, bitch. I'm mad than a bitch. Don't shoot the fucking mess. I need a motherfucking man. Help me with this. Men with no hoes. Where are you? What are you doing? Get your ass over here. <laughs> So it's day two of trying to make 10K in eight days. It's 8.42 and I'm about to get on the floor. I didn't know what I wanted to do and I didn't have time to mention it in the last video, but I decided, so that's my new challenge. I'm leaving the country and going on vacation for a month. 
um, and I'm leaving on January 11th. So that's why I'm doing this challenge. I'm trying to make as much money as I can before I go. I went on stage, so that's my first set. And it's all from one guy, because there's like nobody here. There's like two guys, I think. Um, but this guy's literally here like every day. And he usually never ever gets dances. He only tips on stage, but if you give him attention, He'll tip you a few dollars, and we need that guy, I guess, you know, for nights like this. I would have made zero dollars. I mean, like, starts like this. But yesterday, he got a dance with me for the first time ever. He came to me and asked me for it, so that was interesting. So that's what I got, and he's been giving me a little more and more slowly. It used to be, like, three, five dollars. Now this looks like, I don't know, like, ten or fifteen. It's fifteen. All right, so it's 10.20 and I did one topless, so I'm still 1.40 away from my house fee. And we close at 2 a.m. Stage from the same guy. All right, so I finally made my house fee and it's 11.28, but I haven't really made much money yet, so uh, we close at 2 a.m., so we'll see. I went on stage, I did pretty good. Okay, so I angled it like this because um, my outfit um but anyway stage was pretty good there's like a few guys i haven't really done any other dances besides making my house feet and it's 11:56, so we'll see yay it was so good stage stage number whatever this is all right so i'm finally back home tonight was pretty good for me um i found some good customers and yeah this is 100 bucks that i already counted this is 45 um, I got 800 on Zelle, and then this is 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. So in total, I made 12.30, so I'm pretty happy about that, and I'm hoping to make my goal for these eight days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I honestly never understood the appeal of strip clubs. Why would you want to be next to other horny and sweaty men watching attractive women dance on a pole? and you have to give them dollar tips. That's like being hungry and having to give the store dollar bills just to watch the roast beef and the rotisserie even cook. X-rated content is for free. If you're going to pay a woman to dance on you, might as well pay for the whole thing and rent a hooker. Do these simps really truly think these pole dancers will one day come home with them? They don't even give these simps their phone number after making a couple of grand off of them. Someone asks, maybe you've answered this, how much is your house fee and what does that include? The pole dancer responds, the house takes the first 160 I make in dances, and then it's 50-50 split after that. Damn, the house is straight pimping her. 50%? The fuck? Is that normal? I can see 10%, but 50% of what she makes? OnlyFans takes 20%. If my math is right, the club takes a bigger cut of the money she makes? That sounds like they're robbing her. They are real pimps. That blows my mind. Another dancer comments, I love dancing. I usually bring home anywhere from 700 to 1500 was my highest, but just depends on the night. Damn, these simps are the worst. And that's not quote-unquote dancing, that's stripping. Dancing would be like tap dancing on Broadway or being a background dancer for a pop singer. It's the same thing women hookers call themselves working girls. Nah, B, you're a whore. You're not filling out paperwork. You're laying on your back and spreading your legs, HOE. Someone claims... Zelle can be refunded at any time. They can pull their payments back. Damn, is that true? I can trick a trick? According to Forbes, you can. It says, Zelle users who lost money to imposter scams are starting to receive funds from financial institutions that participate in the money transfer service. So if you claim a thought is a scammer, like most of them are, then you can get a refund. And if you're wondering what this stripper fully looks like from the TikTok, here's her in a couple of outfits. This is one of my all-time faves. This one looks really good on stage because it glows. I love this one because it glows. I love this one because it's bedazzled and it was so expensive. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I think it looks really good on me. I also have this in hot pink and I love it because it glows and makes my ass look really nice. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.